when I walk through that door tonight, yeah, I'm gonna miss her. Oh, looky there, I've got a bite. Oh, Hey guys, uh, before this video starts out here, um, first thing I want to clarify is that I was fishing on a uh, pond in southeastern Tennessee, um, Cleveland, Tennessee to be exact, Bradley County, not Cleveland, um, but, uh, it was, um, on, uh, it's in the middle of June and, um, I was just using a orange pumpkin, uh, ringworm with a one inch worm hook. And the difference between a worm hook and a regular hook is a worm hook has the uh, little bent part in the middle. And uh, I wasn't using a sinker, and I'll explain why in the video. But um, I catch three fish. Uh, this pond has good potential, but uh, all of the fish died off a couple years ago when uh, the water level got really low. So uh, there's not a lot of big fish in there. And the uh, biggest that has been caught in there is probably about three or four pounds. I think there's been one two three pounders and one four pounder in there but uh like i said i catch two little fish and uh the pond has good potential but it's not very um it doesn't have a lot of big fish in there right now so um th i'm just going to show you all this video of me fishing and um any other questions just write it in the comments and i'll be glad to tell you thanks bye Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's not your sacred play here, and today we are going to be fishing. Uh, this isn't what I usually do, but um, this is what I like to do. Uh, so today we're going to be bass fishing. We're going to be using um, green pumpkin worms. Here's one. Uh, there's one. It just has a lot of stuff on it. Then we're going to be using a hook like that. It's a worm hook, and um, here's the pond we're going to be fishing on. This pond almost died a few years ago during a big drought, uh, but that's okay. Um, the fish are just now getting up to about, um, the regular ones are about a pound and a pound and a half or so. But, um, yeah, uh, so there's not a lot of big fish. They don't bite a lot. Um, I'd rather be fishing on the river. It's not stock like some other ponds like most people think they are. Today we're going to be using a Shakespeare reel. It's a spinning reel um, with a trigger kind of thing. Uh, I really like it a lot. And then here's an ugly stick rod. And uh, it's one of the best rods on the market. So I'm going to start fishing, guys. So uh, I'll get back to you with updates. See ya. So there's our first fish of the day. Um, pretty much a monster. If you can see it compared to my foot, it's a monster you see here. There, yeah. That's a monster. Obviously that's sarcasm, but um yeah. It just bit onto it. I thought it was a bluegill at first, but it's a little fish. But uh I mean it's a fish nonetheless. We're gonna let it go over here. And there's our first fish of the day. You have to uh you have to throw them here because there's a lot of stuff around the edges of the pond and uh if you let them go like at the edge of the pond, they won't be able to get out. So yeah, that's our first fish of the day. And uh, fish number one, probably about a fifth, 0 0.05 of a pound. So um, yeah, see you guys. So this is our fish. This is probably what I was talking about, an average fish. Uh, there we go. So I mean, it's all right fish, I guess. It has a nice little belly on it. Uh, I'll say about a heavier than it really looks um about a pound or so uh, i'm gonna get this fish off and i'm gonna put it back in the water and i'll see y'all later okay sorry you can't see me get it off Bye. okay so uh here's another little fish just caught just caught it right there uh just cast it out there there's a big uh right in the middle of there there's some big bass but just caught it uh cast on that side right there i'm not using a sinker and that's because uh this pond that has a lot of um, grass at the bottom and if you use a sinker it goes down too quickly and gets too much grass on it so that's why I'm not using sinker so uh, yeah it's just a little fish um, that's what I projected would happen today because I'm using a little bit smaller worm than I was yesterday I caught three yesterday they were all about a pound so um, I'll let this one go there looks like there may be a storm coming um, so I don't know how long I'm gonna get a fish 
because I'm not a big fan of holding up a um, highly conductible graphite rod while it's lightning. So uh, we're going to fish as long as we can, but I'm going to get out of here before the storm starts. So wish me luck. Looks big. It's really not that big. Hey guys, uh, I'm getting out of here. I hear thunder and uh, like I said, I'm not a big fan of getting struck by lightning. Um, but I might do more of these. Just tell me in the comments if you want to uh, do more want me to do more of these uh leave a like as always it helps me out um and see you bye